Okay, you guys, so today I'm talking about this Aztec Indian Healing Clay. It's supposed to be used for your face, but I've seen a lot of people using it for um, their hair to help define their curls. So today, that's what I'm doing. Um, I got this at a beauty supply store, my local beauty supply store, for about $9. As you can see, I've already done this side of my head to just help speed up the video a little bit. So now I'm going to be doing this side. I'm going to walk you step by step. And first, I have sectioned my hair off into four sections. I start off with four sections for everything. And then if I need to, I break down into eight sections. So that's what I did over here. I have four sections on this side and I have two on this side. So I'm going to start with this. And my hair is pretty dirty. Um, my hair has been washed in about two weeks so there's some built up gel in there and extra products but that's okay okay so first i'm going to detangle my hair as you can see it's really dry um you know it's dull it's definitely i haven't combed it in about two days so it definitely needs to be detangled and get all that extra hair out of there so i just have my spray bottle it's a little dirty because I already did this side, but that's okay. So I have my spray bottle. I got this from Walmart, I think for a dollar, maybe a little bit less. And I'm just going to take this side right here and I'm going to separate that in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just going to take this extra hair and wrap it around just to get it out of my way because I don't want to use another hair tie. So I'm just going to wrap that around. And I'm just gonna spray my hair and I just want to get it um, as wet as possible I guess the wetter it is the easier it is for me to just go ahead and detangle so and I like to make sure that I get the ends really well so I am taking this healing clay and I'm just gonna pour some into a bowl it recommends that you do not use any metals so today, I already had some in here, but I need more. Today, I'm just using a plastic fork since I don't want to use a metal one. And this is like the only plastic utensil I have. And then a glass bowl. So I'm just taking some of this clay and I'm pouring it into the bowl. Um, however much you see fit, I would suggest starting with a little bit and just adding more as you need more because you don't want to waste a lot either and once I have that in the bowl I just have some um, raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother like I said I bought this at my local beauty supply store for nine dollars I know they do have it on Amazon as well as Groupon so there's multiple places that you can buy it from but this is what I like like I like it to be a little bit thick. I'm just gonna detangle my hair. And I really like this brush because it helps detangle my hair so fast. Like, I can spend about five minutes detangling my hair. And that's it. I put it in my hand and I'm just gonna rub it and apply it to my hair. And I did make sure I took off my rings because I didn't want it getting everywhere. Just going to make sure I apply the roots because that's really in the back. That's where I have like the most issue with my curls not being defined. And I've done this once before. Um, but I feel like if you want it, if you want your curls to become super defined, you should do this once a week, maybe once every two weeks, just to like give your hair a regimen. So now that I have that applied, I am just going to twist it so it can stay out of my way. And as you can see, I have a lot of shrinkage. My hair is actually pretty long. Um, 
I'm just gonna twist it and roll it around. Kinda like you would do a Bantu knot, just to keep it out of my way. Make sure I get my ends. And then I'm gonna detangle. And I'm not tender headed at all, so when I detangle my hair, you know, start from the bottom, work your way up to the top. And I'm actually looking in a little mirror that I have because I'm downstairs, I'm not in my bathroom. Um, I'm not tender headed, so when I comb my hair out, I'm not, you know, I'm just not tender headed so I can be a little rough on my hair. I know how my hair is but depending on your hair type and if your hair is very fine or if it's coarse um, you should know what works when it comes to detangling your hair especially while it's wet. And as you can see my hair is pretty thick so sometimes it takes me a little bit longer to detangle some sections but this brush is still pretty good and now I'm going to apply the um, the clay I just start from the bottom and I work my way up I just rub it in And then to make sure that the clay is on every single strand of hair, I just like to brush it through just to double check. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's getting washed out. So I'm just trying to separate it, make sure that it's in there enough. And then roll it around. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and do the top portion of my hair. And then once I get done with that, I'm going to come back and tell you guys how long I'm going to let it sit in my hair. And we'll go from there.
Okay, so now that I have the clay in there, I'm just gonna let it sit for an additional 30 minutes. And after that, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna wash it out. And then I'm gonna come back and show you guys the final result. Okay, so I finished washing my hair. I put on this turvy twist just to dry my hair down. I didn't comb it after I put the conditioner in there or anything. So now I'm just gonna remove this turvy twist so you guys can see what my hair looks like. Like I said, I haven't done anything to it. Um, it's a little bit drier now, but as you can see, like the curls are there and my hair feels super soft. I will let you guys know down below what um, shampoo and conditioner I used. It is the Cream of Nature ones. I don't remember the exact names, but I would recommend using that clay every, um, every one to two weeks when you wash your hair or before you wash your hair just so that your curls can become more defined so this is my hair so I hope you guys enjoyed me doing this video on a way to help define your curls a little bit um, if you want to see more of my natural hair tutorials don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also leave the comments down below on what products you would like me to use up next, I'm going to be doing this wash and go, so you guys should definitely check that video out. Thank you for watching.